All right, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha Hakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine. How I learned this truth from according to the Bible. Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing this truth around the four winds of the earth. To the sincere believers in the few Akwaf, I would like to say Shalom. I'm the brother Ha'al Mayan. And um, Lord willing, this be an edifying lesson going into our our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, um, is going to crown the ones that um, endure to the end, man. Okay. He's going to crown those. And I can, um, let me start listening off with that. Uh, Matthew 24. In verse 13, it says, But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Okay. Let's get that word uh, endure. So, like you. See what the word endure mean, man. It's a verb. It says to undergo or suffer. Okay. Especially without breaking. Whew. We can tie that into this walk, man. It says um to continue in existence, to make hard, harden, bear, tolerate, keep up, maintain. It says to make hard, harden. Um, hey, man. To put up. Let's see what it says right here. It says to put up with something or somebody unpleasant. To face. Uh, it's like you may throw this on. Do not disturb. It says to face and withstand with courage. To weather, synonym said to weather, brave, uh, to continue to live and avoid dying. But little do, hey, it's going to be martyrs of this truth, man. Okay, and the Lord going to give them a spirit and, and your reward is that the kingdom of heaven and you're going to be crowned, man. It says to undergo or be subjected to last and be usable, persist for a specific for a specified period of time. To continue to exist, man. So prevailing, man. So guess what, man? We want to ultimately last in this thing, man. We want to last. Okay. This is um a depiction of our Lord Yahweh Shai crowning the hopeful elect. Okay. And Lord willing, man, we be a part of that number because we're not living here. Okay. We're just existing. It's a bunch of... It's nothing but nonsense. It's nothing but wickedness here. It's nothing but wickedness here, man. And we have a lot of uh, imperfections, okay? And we want to be made uh, over again, man. We want, we want to, in a sense, where we want our bodies to be changed and put on that, put on that immortality, man. Okay? T putting off that mortal clothing. Okay, um... Chasing the, in, the chasing that uh incorruptible crown, not the corruptible crown. Okay. So Lord willing, we endure, man. Abaradaza. This is Second Timothy chapter four and verse eight. It says, "I'm gonna start at um um." I'm going to start at verse 5. It says, But watch thou in all things, endure inflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. For I am, and we got to endure all these afflictions, man. 
I'm going to come back to 2 Timothy and make me think about 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. It reads, There have no temptation taken you but such as common to man, but the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. So if we're um if we're pleasing you how by Shemar Shah, man, to the best of our ability, we're gonna endure, man. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna escape, man. We we're gonna we're gonna get tested, we're gonna get tried, we're gonna fall, but but uh, we're mainly going to endure, though, man, because that's what that's what Yahweh Shemal Shah requires us to do. To to cleave unto Him, to lean on Him, man, not your own understanding, to trust Him. Okay, so we can endure. Okay. Back in Second Timothy, chapter four. And verse 6, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. And it was the Apostle Paul, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so like you from misspeaking it, but it says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. And that's what we want at the end. I'll be our, we want to know we have done everything we can do, man. Went the extra mile. Okay, not being over righteous, but knowing that you didn't um you didn't you you wasn't half fast and you didn't do the bare minimum. You gave it all you got, man. You 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 did what Sirach chapter four verse twenty eight said, you scribe for the truth unto death, man. You were scribing, man. You kept going. You tried your best to be obedient. Okay. You tried your best to offend less. Okay. And first and foremost, this goes out to myself, man, edifying and, and, is, and exhorting myself, man, to encourage myself to stay diligent and continue to fight, man, okay, to, to receive those crowns, okay? Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness with the Lord. The righteous judge shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Hey, it brings me into James chapter 1 verse 12. It says, blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord have promised to them that love him. That's what we want, man. That's what we're that's what we're here for, man, to to endure this suffering, this chastisement. Okay? Not to set our affections on things of the earth, but setting our affections on things above where Hamashiach sit on the right hand side of the most high, man. So we can be crowned. Okay? We ultimately want to be crowned, man. We want to be crowned by your by Shemal Shah. Okay? So, with that being said, um, I bring out another precept, and I'll close it out. I didn't plan on making it long. Just get to the point. Because um, we want that crown, man. First uh, Corinthians chapter nine, verse twenty-five. I'm gonna start at verse twenty-four. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receive of the prize. So run that ye may obtain. And we want to receive the kingdom, man. We want to receive those crowns. We want to see how by Shemal Shah. I know I myself want to see how by Shemal Shah because. This body is is finished, man. This body is done. The thoughts we have, the just all it's hey, it's not living, bro. This is not living at all, man. There's no amount of money that can make a, a just man, a man of how about Shamal Shah complacent here. Okay. 
You cannot be satisfied here, man, with the tangible things that the world or Esau Edom could offer you. That just to get you out of this truth, man. To get you out of the the, the uh this walk. Okay? First Corinthians chapter nine, verse twenty five. And every man that scribeth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible crown, man. So that's what we want to be fighting for, man. You're fighting for a cause. You're fighting for a greater good, for a greater reward. To receive those crowns, man, by who? Y'all by Shemal Shah, man. When he cracked them clouds and you get beamed up in them chairs and being changed in the twinkle of an eye, all the ones, all the, all the, all the, um, the hopeful elect that died for you, how about your mouth shot, be risen first, and we all be crowned, man. So we have to hold our heads up high, man, and fight. Continue to sigh and cry, pray, believe more, and fight, because the job is not finished yet, man. Even though the kingdom is already prepared, but we got to endure. We got to endure, man, until the Lord come back. So with that being said, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. I would like to close out by giving all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha HaKudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine who I learned this truth from according to the Bible. Shout a warm to the hopeful elect pushing this truth and our righteousness and its sincerity around the four winds of the earth and to the sincere believers in the few Akwaf. Shalom, Babaka Shaba, Baka Shaba, Baba Ba, Kwam Yasharala, Barak Kal Akim, Shalom.